Don't you do it. Don't you. You! I hate this game. Oh my god, do I hate this game. <sighs> I hope going into this video, there's so much despair coming out of this. I'm not gonna lie, guys. The title of this video says we were gonna cook MOC12. This is me recording after I already got all the footage from the battle. And I can say we got cooked, but we did cook as well. So uh, it goes both ways. Either the gotcha luck is in your favor, because, you know, Miss QQ, the gotcha goddess here, uh, will absolutely save your runs, or she'll absolutely destroy them. And when I say destroy them, it's either she gets it's insanely unlucky or insanely lucky meaning you don't have to use any skill points and get all of your tiles up or you use all of your skill points to get no tiles up either of these options or either of these equations will screw you over so you need middle of the ground luck which i think is pretty hard to get uh but yeah so let to keep that in mind and we'll talk more about it in a second here but i do want to talk about how this uh god squad is built here because we are using a completely free to play team now so let's start off first with our main gotcha girl right here qq our big dick damage dealer she's the one one, she is the one who will show the way, surely. And before you say, oh, but you're using Jingyu One's Light Cone, that's not free to play. We have one five star character and one five star Light Cone. I don't want to hear it. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and talk about her build really, really quick here. Obviously, we're using Jingyu One's Light Cone. If you have this, this would be the most optimal Light Cone to use on her. If you don't have this, uh, another free to play option would be the Seriousness of Breakfastness right here. Uh, you could use this. Obviously, you're going to lose out on quite a bit of damage, and she does have to be built a lot better because you're losing out on a lot of crit damage here and some other stuff. So, uh, you have to build her a bit better. So, let's go ahead and talk about her traces. Now, obviously, her traces are at 6, 7, 8, 8. Uh, she doesn't have all the damage bonuses off either. We're missing uh, quite a few attack bonuses and quantum damage bonuses. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the gear set we're using, which is a four-piece quantum set. I opt in to use this four-piece quantum set because most of the enemies we face are going to be quantum weak enemies. So we get 20% defense shred. Absolutely amazing. If you can fight enemies that have quantum weakness, always just use quantum set in your DPS. You'll usually get more DPS out that way. As far as the planner set goes, we are running the two-piece runolent. Now the two-piece runolent's not being activated because our crit rate is so cold. It's only at 63% and we have no way of buffing it. So that's cringe. Uh, we have 158% crit damage. Attack is... Mm. It's, it's, it's there, 2.4k, it could be better, and speed's at 129, but we don't have to worry about that because we have Rulon made to buffer speed, which that's who we're going to talk about now. This Chad right here that got released is, I would say, probably the best support unit in the game. Uh, El, El Branya, this is the better one, surely. Anyways, we're rocking her with 160 speed right now, surely relatable. We'll talk about the relics in a second here, but as far as her other stats go, she's rocking... Uh, what, 149% break effect? We'll get into why she's only 149% break effect in a second here. But we're also running Mesh and Cog's Light Cone here. This is a free-to-play Light Cone, three-star Light Cone at that. Very easy to S5 and get to level 80. Now, hopping into her traces, they're pretty much all filled out. I made sure I got all the break effect nodes and speed nodes, just so she's pretty going pretty fast, and she's getting a lot of extra break effect to help out with her kit. Now, as far as the relics go, we're running two-piece speed and two-piece break effect here with a two-piece planner set of tall the nice advantage rate. Like I said, that is why our break effects add 149% right now because we are 145 and higher, so we are procking this ability off here, which gives us an extra 20% when we enter the battle, meaning she's always at 180% break effect because she does give herself an extra 20 break effect right here in her talents. Next up here is going to be Pela Dela Bela Spela, which is the better version of Silverwolf. Let's just be honest. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, Silverwolf actually does play better in this team comp than Pela does, but uh, for the sake of this video, we are using Pela. Now, Pela is also kind of scuffed as well. She's only level 75, but during the showcase, she was only level 73 because I just leveled her up before recording this part right here. Now, uh, hopping into the actual stats here, we're rocking and clean, nice, 19% crit rate, 66% crit damage. That doesn't matter. Speed is the one thing that matters, and she is 143 of it, which is A-OK -okay fine by me. Uh, everything else is kind of okay. She's rocking 4k HP. Wish we'd have a little bit more HP there. As far as the light cones go, we are running before the tutorial mission starts, which is the free light cone that we got from the Silver Wolf event. If you don't have this light cone, then you can use Pearls of Sweat. Pearls of Sweat can definitely help out here as well. Just know her energy regeneration is going to be kind of scuffed. Hopping into her traces now. Uh, yeah, they're kind of all down bad. We have her E6, so obviously we get some extra levels here for free. But they're nothing really to like praise, I would say. Obviously, we're not getting the max defense shred that we could be getting. It's only 38% versus 45%, which is a big increase. Hopping into those rocks now, we're running two-piece break, two-piece speed. Uh, the break is just for helping get some extra damage out whenever she does break. Uh, speed, obviously, to make her faster. And then Von Wack to make her go first. And that's really the only set I had with a level 15 um, energy re regeneration rate chain. 
so we could get the uh get the extra five percent energy region here as well and if you're running her without the before the tutorial mission starts light cone i would definitely recommend running uh the, the that set right there or just the set that gives you five percent extra err because she is going to need it now let's talk about our solo sustain character links uh links is sitting at a nice 4.1 k hp right now 146 speed pretty nice pretty simple uh, let's hop into the light cone. We're using post op. I would recommend using post op if you have your links, uh, just because of the fact it does give you increased energy regeneration rate and it also gives you an outgoing healing buff as well. Other light cones you could use here would be like uh, perfect timing because this does increase your effect resistance and she will get CC'd if she gets hit by the, um, the bug that explodes. So that could also be another good choice of running as well, just depends on what you have. Talking about these traces now, 11, 11, 10. Uh, you know, she's pretty built out as far as the traces go, so we are getting pretty optimal healing here. Uh, the relics here is just all over the place. We are running two-piece speed relics, but they're all kind of low level in their own right. So we're not getting, like, the best we could get off. We're running ERR chain just so she can get some energy regeneration off there. And, yeah, that's pretty simple. She's our soul sustain character, and she does her job for the most part. Depends. Sometimes she lets the team die, but most of the time she keeps them alive. Anyways, as far as Eidolons go, I do have most of these characters E6, but it's not really necessary. You don't really get that much of a buff to help you out with most of these characters E6, uh, barring QQ. QQ, you need to be E6. I wouldn't recommend running this team or run any team with QQ without having her E6. And you can run her with E4, but E6 just brings so much skill point efficiency. Now hopping into links, uh, maybe E1, E2 here you would need. Uh, for Pela, you really only need E1 here. And then obviously for Ruan Mei, it's just E0 here. So yeah, that's really all I have to say about how this team is built. Now before I show you the winning run, before I actually cook the enemy, I'll show you my death and fail montage because that is pretty funny because I mauled it for two hours. Anyways, enjoy this little montage here. And one more thing I should mention is obviously you can run different team comps other than this comp you can upgrade anyone on this team other than ruan may and qq if you want to upgrade your sustained just go with any five star sustained character that can remove debuffs or just like mitigate your damage or like fushuan hua hua uh, locha those can all work also you can swap out your pala for silver wolf because silver wolf does play a pretty big role of changing those ice enemies typings into quantum and also the big exploding bug uh, that explodes on you you can change his typing to quantum and immediately break his shield with uh, silver wolf as well So you don't have to worry about that problem as much. Oh my what happened? Oh my god We just use five skill points QQ and you're absolutely fucking trolling Don't you do it. Don't you, you bitch. I hate this fucking game. Oh my god. Do I hate this fucking game? Wait, that's bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad now link if we're dead Fuck me. I hate my life. God fuck you game. You know after four 40 minutes, 15 attempts, and um, still haven't beaten the boss yet. I am, I am hopeful for the, I'm hopeful for this one. Yeah. Oh, you fucking cunt. Oh my god, this scream. We got Oxuary. That's really good. Don't you do this to me. You cunt. Jesus Christ, game. Oh, yo, please. Oh, yo, please. Oh, she's still good. Look at that. I hate you so fucking much, QQ. Fuck me, man. Holy shit. Who the fuck asked for you to do that? Absolutely fucking no one. Asked what fucking QQ. God damn it. I'm slowly losing my mind. It's been a, an hour long recording so far. I'm getting absolutely fucking molly -wop fucking trolled. <sighs> Hope going into this video there's so much despair coming out of it. This. Now it's time to hop into battle here, but first we need to pop off our buffs. So obviously Ruan Mei gets popped off, then Lynx gets popped off. Uh, QQ, I'm sorry, we're not popping your buff off. We can't have you getting too lucky out there at the beginning. And then finally, Pela with Defense Shred. So I just want to briefly touch on the very, very beginning of this battle. Whenever you spawn in, depending on what your speed is, you're going to want to be using your skill on the Mirror Maiden Lady with Pela to get her ult up as quickly as possible and just using a basic attack on the Mirror Maiden Lady with Ruan May to kind of bring that weakness down. Then after that, we'll pop both their ults off. After that, we're gonna to wanna to focus the Ice characters mostly on targeting the Mirror Maiden while the Quantum characters are focusing down the uh, Silver Bank Guard uh, just so we can get some breaks off. Now, I try my best to get Octuary here because this is like really the only good chance you have at the very, very beginning of the fight to actually get a lot of these stacks off uh, efficiently and do a lot of damage to these first two mobs. 
So my whole focus here is just really to break the shield and do as much or get as many stacks as possible here. So auctionary buff is really, really nice. From QQ here, if you can't get it, then I would restart, honestly. It's very at the beginning of battle, so it's within the first cycle, so it's not that much time. So, uh, yeah, that's what I did. I restarted really until I got a couple auctionary buffs off here, just so I could smack them multiple times and get this charge up as much as possible. And then from this point on, it really depends on who gets hit at the very beginning of battle, uh, who's going to hit the guard here to actually uh, bring down his weakness and aggro his, his follow-up attack. So in this instance, we chose to use Payla's ult on him because she had max HP because we didn't want Lynx or QQ taking this damage here. And then after that, my real focus is, is while the mirror main is down, just whenever I get a QQ buff fully off, just make her the main target and kind of target the uh, the silver main guard off to the left hand side less frequently. It really just depends on the health, so just be mindful of the health here. And then from that point on, it's pretty easy until we get to the bug boss, which we're going to get to now, which it's pretty simple and straightforward. You want auctionary buff. For most of the fight, if you can get auctionary buff, it's going to be great because it's going to guarantee breaks on the enemy shield as long as Ruan Mei's skill is up. And then also, I like to try saving the ult as well. You want to make sure you're topped up on heals because uh, they can get a wild stick up their ass sometimes and just attack you in random directions. I would know. I've been at this for two hours now. But anyways, let's continue on with the fight now and how we actually ended it and defeated this boss. And a pretty good amount of cycles as well. This can be really big because we'll break guy on the right. Yes, and then we get full damage. Here we go, boys. This is it. That's exactly what we've been waiting for. Full stacks to its fucking dome, and that will kill. Now we're on to the second boss right now, and we have ultimate ready. This guy's going to be a pain in the ass. The guy on the left-hand side, that guy right there, he's going to be a pain in the Kathukas. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So we got this surely, right? Surely we don't die like the 20 other times we died. Probably need to focus on this guy on the, on the left here. We really don't... Ooh. Yikes, okay, he just needs one hit. If we could get one hit into that guy, I think he could potentially just clean up. And now, let's see, come on. Good, okay. So, this is really good. We blew up all the little swarm battalion beasts here, whatever they're called. Uh, and now it's really just going to be a, a race to, like, delete this kid, right? This is a big break. 100k on that break. Let's go. This team's performing pretty, pretty well right now. What the hell, dude? You know, despite the... Uh, two hours of other attempts that I've had for this team. Uh, I'm surprised with how well this is doing. I'm going to go ahead and do a full heal because I'm not messing around and I'm, I'm going to get alt F4 to loot. Probably should have waited until we got more wind shear stacks. That probably would have been the smarter option, but I'm not very smart, am I? So we are missing one cycle. We're probably going to miss this by two cycles, if I had to guess. We, If we can get QQ to pop off, ooh, but QQ's not up for a couple more turns now. I'm going to go ahead and just skill here. I just want to go ahead and get this out of the way. I want to go ahead and just skill here. Oh, we have Octuary. This is good. So we're going to break, and this guy definitely explodes, which is uh, going to be really big for us. We need this guy to explode here. Bang. Bang. We break. He explodes. That uh, helps out a little bit with the damage. Okay, I'm gonna pop this off here. This won't do as much damage, but we ensure a full break on the field. Uh, so 110 guess still did really big damage. Oh, and we're gonna blow up, blow up, blow up, and then yeah, win this here. This is we win this here. Let's go, easy clap, boys. Holy crap, let's go! And none of us died this time, surely. And we beat that with 18 cycles left, so that's not too bad. Now, guys, as you saw there, uh, that was a bit rough. I'm not going to lie. We got one really good attempt at the end there, though uh, I had to go back and redo it because I, I accidentally quit out all the way. So I had to redo the first stage, but we didn't beat it. We only beat it within six cycles. Uh, if you can beat your first cycle a bit faster, then this is a guaranteed, like, three-star if you have this team built up. I'm not going to say this team is the best team because, obviously, it's not the best team, but... Ah, uh, it works nonetheless, surely, right? Anyways, uh, yeah, so QQ requires a lot of luck, a lot of gotcha potential, and the whole team is just full of gotcha potential. Like, you have to, like, the luck has to be in your favor, essentially, for you to win, right? Either you're getting targeted too much, you're not getting Octuary off enough to break the enemy shields enough, or, or whatever the case may be. This is a very luck-based team. The gotcha goddess is coming into clutch here. Ruan May does make this team possible, but uh, let's be honest, QQ does dish out some pretty heavy damage on her own. So, with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video on this. Uh, all my failures, all my attempts. Uh, we got cooked, but we also cooked the boss as well. So, uh, that's going to do it for today's video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. Bye-bye.